Hi, I'm Rabia. And I'm Matt. And this is Sounds Like on Anderson's TV. Rabia! Hi man. Hi, hi. How are um, you? I'm good, I'm good. Who, who are we going to sound like today? We're going to sound like the massive, the brutal, the absolute thrash gods, Metallica. Metallica. Yes. Now... They don't some, need introduction. They don't need it. Everyone should know who they are and everyone should appreciate how good slash big and everything else they are. And influential. <clears throat> exactly. Well, we're looking for guitars with active pickups, we're looking for amps with lots of gain, preferably two channels so we can do the clean bits and some of the songs yeah, we want to do. We need really nice cleans yeah. as well. And of course, my entire rig, I don't need a guitar or an amplifier, I just need a wah pedal because I'm doing Kirk Hammett. Yeah, um, I think maybe, hopefully with the budget we have, we can maybe get you 10 wah pedals. Yeah, 10 wah pedals. We'll stick probably them together be better. Loop and roll it down the street. Well, let's go and get some wah pedals. Yeah, wah. Okay, so we're in the guitar department, yes. and we're looking for specific guitars. We need active pickups. I would like a guitar with a Floyd Rose, because that's very common of Kirk Hammett's style. Totally. And I guess you need... I need, well, James Hetfield, obviously, as you know, has probably has played um, like Explorer types, Les Paul types. Mm -hmm. He has his own signature, but way too expensive. Um, he also has his own signature set, the Het set, um, EMG pickups, which is the 8160 in preferably an Explorer or Les Paul shape with EMGs, I'm probably gonna be around there, about there. Dude. I like it, I like it. And it's 6.15. But I think, I think I want an Explorer. I think I want an Explorer shape. Yeah, but, but this is an LTD. Okay, hang on. Single cut with EMGs, hardtail. I mean, th th this, this is, this is pretty damn close, is it not? Surely this is close. <laughs> it looks like a brush. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you can... You might want to move out with some dust on the floor. You <laughs> should <laughs> So the, 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 the Nimbus 2000. <laughs> right, so I have gone found this Epiphone Explorer in a What's nice party bat black colour with EMGs installed. So, yeah, I think, I mean, it's very simple, it says it all really. It's just all black, made in China, and it's 450 quid. Um, are you going to go with that? Or are you going to be go honest? With the... I think this is one of the rare occasions when Explorer kind of has its day. He's he's very renowned for playing an Explorer, so that was a very good point. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. Fair play. Okay, so you're yeah. looking for a guitar for Mr. Kirk. I have, and I've, I think I've just spotted one. Yeah. So this has got EMGs. Yeah. It's got a uh, Floyd. A Floyd. It's six six hundred and fifty one pounds. Nice. Uh, and. It's got a really weird neck joint, three oh, bolt. Yeah. Is that just for better access? Yeah. So yeah, it's totally to get up to that 24th fret, but do you know what? This might actually do the job. I don't know, yeah. I'm just gonna go with this. Cool, uh, sounds good. That was easy. So I've got two I've got two paths I can choose. One being a high gain heavy metal amplifier. Uh, of course the wire is the most important thing, but so I'm thinking of using the EVH pedal, uh, the two-channel pedal with the boost, and something that does crunch, maybe a distortion, but not necessarily a high gain amp, so that I can do some of the cleaner stuff. Whereas I think for you, it just needs to be straight up. I just need a straight up, but really versatile amp that can do loads of different gains yeah. and really nice cleans. I'm thinking that the Nate Tweaker 40 might be the shout. Yeah. And I only say this, we've looked at lots and lots and lots of amps and just the amount of switching this amp has, it means that you can kind of get that modern finish sound. You can, it's, yeah, all these, all these different switching options mean that hopefully we can get it somewhere close. I hope so. Yeah. Seeing as we're here by the pedal cabinet, 
I have spotted the EVH 5150 overdrive. Uh, it's got its own noise gate, it's got a boost in there, and it's got a full three band EQ. And I reckon that that will achieve a high gain thrashy tone. If not for anything else, most definitely for leads, but only if there's a wire pedal. So we're going to do that, and we'll just see what happens. So literally, my options are, I go Marshall DSL-40, which we always have used in the past. Mm. I go Black Star, which I don't think will get us anywhere close. Uh, Fender won't get us I mean, anywhere you could close. Go, you could also go, go Igniter. I could also go Igniter. If you, you're, if you're controlling all the drive from a pedal, it's, it's a bit less risk. But it doesn't have any built-in reverb, and I, my guitar's more expensive than yours. How much is yours? 640. Yeah, 650. 650. Well, and these amps are these are already 650, so that would be like one 300 before pedals. Yeah, before and pedals, and I have to get at least 10 wires. <laughs> that's another. That's like 700 quid. Yeah, so it's just not going to happen. Mm. Okay. So I've just been speaking with the wonderful people at Ampertons, and we just a complete hunch, but the bass breaker 15 combo is a new amp that Fender have brought out, it's two channel, it's got built in reverb, the overdrive on it is actually quite modern mm -hmm. and it has a clean channel. Okay. So I'm thinking, I'm using the 5150 overdrive to get my sort of thrash metal tones. Mm -hmm. um, and because it's a modern voice overdrive, if you blend the two you might get somewhere really close. Okay. So, But the most important thing aside from everything else is a wire. So really it doesn't matter what guitar or amp I'm using as long as I get a good wire pedal. For this particular video, the most important element of the entire rig and that is the wire pedal. As you can see, we've got a great selection of different wire pedals from all different manufacturers. We've got Morley wires, we've got exotic wires, Vox wires, full tones, we've got this classic Jim Dunlops, and we've got the signature series. So as you can see, there is every kind of wire pedal that you could want. And I reckon if we use all of them at the same time, it will sound just like Kirk Hammett, but we don't have the budget, so I have to choose just the one. So James Hetfield uses the, the Jazz Chorus 120 by Roland mm -hmm. for its clean sound. Yep. So therefore, I'm thinking I'm going to get a reverb pedal. Let's use the Boss RV6 for a bit of reverb. Yep. Um, because my amp doesn't have reverb. But the JC120 has built-in chorus. And so I'm thinking if I just get a chorus pedal, just in case we need it. So what kind of sound chorus? Bit, what kind of quality uh, chorus? Well, maybe something... The Angel Wing, Angel Tony C, Wing. 40 pounds. Yeah, that's super cheap. I've oh. got a bit more money, I might as well get the... Oh, your MXR uh, analog chorus. I think I'll do that. I'm gonna get the MXR analog yeah. chorus. I'm probably gonna add a little Angel Wing to my rig just for the beginning. I really wanna do the beginning of one. Yes. And that's a clean guitar tone for Kirk's part, so surprisingly no wire. Mm. So just chorus on that. Should we go sound like Metallica? Let's do it. We are here in the video room. We're here again, we once are. again, in our quest and our long time mission to sound like Metallica. We are, and in fairness, it's been one of those missions where, because the way the tracks sound and the way they were recorded back in the day, it's made it quite difficult to, to get those tones out of more modern gear, in fairness, but I think we've got somewhere close. Hopefully, hopefully. But again, like as always, we're kind of aiming for like an all-rounder. Yeah. Something that could kind of it probably le replicates more their live rig. Yeah. Than it does each studio, you know, recording that they have. Indeed, you um, do. So yeah, without further ado. So you're Mr. Hetfield, aren't you? Well, shall we have a look? Yeah, let's have a look at let's what Hetfield's look. packing. I've got this beautiful, beautiful, all black. It's the Epiphone Explorer. Epiphone Explorer. <laughs> it's uh, it's very black and a very 
you know, in keeping. Hetfield obviously is very uh, famous for playing these, so yeah, does the job. EMGs as well, so um, what more can you say? It looks right, it looks the part, and if you were in a Metallica cover band, you'd probably want to get one of these guitars. Yeah, and they're not even very expensive, like £450, I think, for this. There you go. Is, which is great. Well, I, my guitar, I'm using, this is the Jackson, and it's one of the Dinky series. Um, and that's essentially what Jackson is there. They, they have like the double cutaway with the extra access to the upper frets. It's normally got a Floyd and some pickups, depending on, not always EMGs, but a lot of the Dinky models do. Um, I love the reverse headstock, and it's not exactly how, what Kirk Hammett would use, as in it's got the maple fretboard, but it's got EMGs, it's got Floyd Rose, and it plays really well. You know, it's a really easy guitar that to play. It's a really nice guitar. It's slightly, it's what, a couple of hundred pounds more than this. Yeah. Um, and I think that, that you can tell. So, amps, um, I've got the Ignator Tweaker 40. Um, Which as, is a beast. As we said in the store, it was, the reason was just to try and get something with enough versatility to kind of cover. The, the really the thing is with Hetfield, he has such a nice like plinky clean tone, mm. and that is all because of the Roland JC120. Mm. Um, so we're basically trying to get something that could do and get a nice clean as well as some kind of high gain American tones. Yeah. My amp is, funnily enough, it's the Fender Bass Breaker 15 combo, and my my hunch, I think, I got off lightly with this because it's a two-channel amp, clean and distortion, um, and I'm only really using it on the clean channel. If I just quickly give you a chord, it's just it's a it's a powerful clean. The thing is, that's probably due to the high-powered EMG pickups yep. that you're getting that extra little bit of boost. But I then teamed it up with my EVA EVH fifty-one fifty overdrive, which is doing all my distortion. And, and that, that is doing your service. That is. It really, really is. Of mm -hmm. course, I've scooped all the mids because that's what you'd expect from your early nineties, late eighties thrash metal sounds.
There's no mids in the amp at all. Neither are mine. No, because that's just not what the tone was about. Mm. Dying by being an extreme example of such. But, um, yeah, that's how I'm getting my two main tones. And I use the angel wing for the clean at the beginning of one on the neck pickup, just to... So, what about your rig? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've got the MXR Analog Chorus and the RV6 Reverb, just kind of to give us a bit of 80s space. So it sounds a bit like this. It's great. Yeah, so it sounds beautiful and spacey. We really wanted to explore doing some of the more, I guess, how do you, would you describe the beginnings of Fade to Black and Sanitarium and stuff like that? We wanted to do some of the more epic, written out, musical parts yeah. of Metallica tunes rather than just throw out a load of go riffs. Go, 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 go. Yeah. yeah, and because it's more of a challenge, it's actually more enjoyable to play and it's really satisfying when you get it right. And there's a lot, they have a lot of guitar interplay, don't they? Yeah. Which is always fun. So, um... But, without this, none of this would be possible. Any of it, none of the tones, none of the just basically Metallica or life itself wouldn't exist the universe wouldn't have happened had we have not got the crybaby mini on the floor right down here I think it's actually perhaps it was a mistake choosing the mini one because I don't think it really represents how much why the magnitude need. of this situation yeah, but maybe less is more in this situation maybe less is more and the thing with it is that it has the three different modes the three different voicings and that is that's like three-dimensional universe of what you can do with the Kirk Hammett sound essentially because you've got three different modes changes the response of the wah so you can get all generations of Kirk Hammett's wah can you give us at least one yeah I'll give you one Anyway, so uh, as I say, it's a pretty straightforward rig, but it did take quite a bit of time to work out exactly how to replicate those old school Metallica tones, because that's what we wanted to hear, and I think that's what most people want to hear. Yep. So there well, you go. Let us know how you think we've done in the comment section below, as usual. I've thoroughly enjoyed this. Brings me back to being 16, 17, learning Metallica tunes. Yeah, so it's a good one. It's, it's a good been one. good. Well, and it's heavily requested, so yeah, let us know um, what you think and how we've done. Please discuss so in the comment section. All the information for all these bits of gear will be in the uh, description box. And that's it. I've been Rabir. And I've been Matt. And this has been Sounds Like on Anderson's TV.